In a world where laughter was king, the world called on these two guys. When everything you know is wrong. This summer, Academy Award winner Kevin Spacey, Kim Basinger, Brad Pitt, Bruce Willis, Sean Samuel L. Jackson, and Jessica Alba. Ready? Welcome everybody to today's show. Today's movie we're going to be reviewing is... The whole Batman saga! Synopsis! Batman 1! So the movie is about the Joker as he tries to take over Gotham City and Batman has to stop him. I really like this movie, uh, Tim Burton's idea of Gotham I thought was really cool, you know, the grittiness, you know, the ugliness of the city, and Jack Nicholson was amazing. <laughs> Danny Alfman, his score was awesome too, you know, I just think it was an overall really good movie. The Batmobile was pretty cool. All in all, we give this movie a... 8.5 out of 10 on our scaling system. Next, Batman Returns. Synopsis. So this movie is about the Penguin, who he comes out of the sewers of Gotham, he tries to run for mayor, also while he's doing that, Catwoman is going around robbing different places, and again, Batman has stopped them both from taking over the city. Love the cast, love the story, just love the movie. You really love this movie, don't you? All in all, we give this movie a... 8 and 3 quarters out of 10. In our scaling system. Oh, uh, dang it. All right. Next, Batman Forever. Synopsis. So this movie is about Two-Face who goes after these people in a circus, they're acrobats, and he kills their whole family, while at the same time, the Riddler is trying to get this thing that can control people's minds while him and Two-Face take over the world, and Batman has to fight them while also training the son of the acrobat family that died and making him his sidekick. Love Jim Carrey, love the movie, love the cast, great movie. You and Batman have a weird thing with love. <laughs> all in all, we give this movie a six and a half out of ten. If it wasn't for Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones, this movie would have sucked even worse. Next up, Batman and Robin. <coughs> Nipples. Batman and Robin. Synopsis. Nipples. <laughs> this movie was pretty bad. I thought Schwarzenegger was cool in it. Nipples. We give this movie a. What the hell was that? Next up, Batman Begins. Finally. Synopsis. Batman, or slash Bruce Wayne, goes into China, gets trained by Ra's al Ghul how to be a ninja, in which he becomes Batman, and while he tries to stop Scarecrow from infecting the whole city. This movie gets a little boring in the beginning, but it gets better towards the end. Yeah, I like Christian Bale as Batman. I like it. All in all, we give this movie a... 8 out of 10 on our scaling system. Next up, The Dark Knight. Uh, 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 uh. Synopsis! So the movie is about the Joker, who he tries to find the evilness in everybody in the city. He brings Harvey Dent, who's the white knight of Gotham, to become a bad guy. And Batman has stopped both of them again. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> All in all, we give this movie a... 9.5 out of 10 on our scaling system. We rank these movies like this. Coming in at number six, Batman and Robin. Gay. Coming in at number five, Batman Forever. Gayer. Coming in at number four, Batman. That's pretty good. Coming in at number three, Batman Begin. Nolan rocks. Coming in at number two, Batman Returns. Penguin was pretty good. Coming in at number one, The Dark Knight. It's too damn long. And that is how we rank the Batman franchise. And now, for a more serious segment on our show, Andy's Top 5. Hey, lady! Funky. Hi, welcome to Andy's Top 5, Ladies of Batman Edition. Coming number 5, Michelle Pfeiffer. That's an old bitch! Like Gable's mom! Go die! Dude, your mom won't get mad, right? Did your mom watch our show? I doubt it. Oh, okay. Coming at number four, Alicia Silverstone. Nipples! She's dead now! Hi, Beans. Coming at number three, Uma Thurman. 
What the hell is an Uma? That's a huge bitch! Is this, whose countdown is this? Sorry. Sorry. Moving on. Player number two, Drew Barrymore. What is it with you and Drew Barrymore? It's the second list we Don't have in the top ever three. interrupt me again. Dudes. Coming in number one, Kim Basinger. Saggy pussy! Like your mom. Oh. Uh. This has been Andy's Top 5, latest Batman edition. Check in next week. And now, for this week's Movie Roundup. <laughs> Number one at the box office this weekend was Rio. I have a fear of birds. <laughs> Number two in the box office, Scream 4. Dude, can you believe at the end of the movie the killer turned out to be the- Whoa, whoa! Number three at the box office this weekend was Hop. Wait, there's a cartoon movie called Hump? No, 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 I said Hop. Oh, that makes more sense. Number four in the box office, Hannah. You know Eric Bana's in that movie? Number five at the box office this weekend was Soul Surfer. Man, I'm never surfing after this. You surf? No. But if I did, I would quit. Number six at the box office this weekend was Arthur. That was horrible. That stupid English voice, was that me? Number seven in the box office, Inside Us. See Andy, I told you, people say it's Inside Us. You guys are both retarded. Wait, what's Inside Us? Babies? My point exactly. Number eight in the box office, Source Code. Quick, what's your favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie? Rokeback, uh, I mean, Number nine at the box office, your highness. Quick, Megan, give me my cupcake. Yes, your highness. Is this bitten? Oh my god. Ah! Number 10, Limitless. Bradley Cooper, stick to your hangover hair. Opening this weekend, Water for Elephants. What the hell is that? It's this movie with uh, Robert Pattinson. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Also coming out this weekend, Tyler Perry's Modell's Big Happy Family. Tyler Perry, you're not funny. Get that through your mind. No one likes you. Also coming out this weekend, African Cat. So, your shirt's pretty cool. No, oh, thanks. Apparently I'm awesome. Apparently. And that has been this week's Movie Roundup. Also, check out my new channel, Super and Able Man, where you can challenge me to do whatever you want. I hope someone challenges you to a death contest and you die. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Write your comment in the section below. Time to play the game, Thinky Pinky. Everybody in the world, they love Thinky Pinky. You have just been critiqued.